If not, do you suspect you might be suffering from anxiety? When you think of someone with an anxiety diagnosis, what image comes to mind? The widely recognized hilarious image with the frazzled countenance, disheveled hair, and copious perspiration may have entered your mind. In spite of their struggles with severe mental disease, some people succeed and do wonderful things, it is a fact. High-functioning anxiety is what we call this. A diagnosis cannot be made for high-functioning anxiety. The fact that persons who have it don't seem worried makes it challenging to diagnose. Although it may seem quiet, individuals who have it know that it is nonetheless really serious and unpleasant. I'm now unsure as to whether you fall under this description. Welcome to The Quick, the inspiration hub for aspiring entrepreneurs and billionaires. Here are 15 behaviors that your high-functioning anxiety may be causing you to engage in that you may not even be aware of. Number 1. You decline invitations to events you really want to attend. Events and get-togethers with friends are something you excitedly anticipate, but when the time arrives, you frequently decide not to attend at the last minute. Despite the fact that you had been anticipating it for a very long time, you have convinced yourself not to go since the mere notion of leaving the house fills you with dread and anxiety. Number 2. You detest having to interact with new individuals. There will be a ton of new contacts for you to network with, someone will tell you. What true feelings do you have? You're not shy or introverted, you simply don't enjoy mingling at social events. You just don't want to socialize with anyone new. You feel happy and secure sticking with your close-knit group of friends. You feel awkward and anxious about leaving a good first impression when you present yourself or when someone introduces you to someone else. Because of how paralyzing this anxiety is, meeting someone new isn't even enjoyable or intriguing. Number 3. You find slow answers uncomfortable. You can leave a voicemail or send a text to someone at any time. As the amount of time you wait increases, do you begin to count the seconds? The more worried you are, the more you second-guess yourself and assume that you did something wrong because they haven't responded yet. Breathe in, they likely like you just fine, and their phone might be on silent. Number 4. You get extremely little sleep. We've heard you need to get 8 hours of sleep. The last time you slept for 8 hours, do you recall? Immediately, not over a few days, is what we mean. You might be able to pinpoint anxiety as the cause of your early morning wake-up calls, inability to fall asleep deeply and comfortably, and nighttime vigilance due to your mind racing. Because we who have high-functioning anxiety are being short-changed on both ends, sleep deprivation is a typical complaint among us. Number 5. You become fixated on the smallest details. Is there anything trivial on your mind that keeps you up at night and prevents you from sleeping, such as what you said the waiter when they advised you to enjoy your meal? Or perhaps that's why the individual who responded to your lengthy SMS with the word OK? You understand this won't have a significant impact on your life, logically. The waiter won't recall you, and that other individual was probably simply busy. Still, you give it another look. People with high-functioning autism frequently have this obsession. With anxiety, you frequently find yourself fixating on unimportant details. You spend a lot of time analyzing everything, especially in social situations, and wondering what it may all mean and why. Number 6. Getting stuck on previous conversations. Regarding interpersonal communications. Are you prone to mentally replaying previous social situations and considering alternative courses of action? Your options were to take or not take. Things like perhaps I shouldn't have texted him or perhaps I should have responded with that clever line. Overanalyzing every social contact is a symptom of high-functioning anxiety. It doesn't matter how long ago something occurred, people who suffer with it frequently become mired in the past, no matter how big or tiny. Number 7. Your self-blame. When you make a mistake, do you get angry with yourself? For weeks, maybe years, you've been thinking about it and criticizing yourself. Well, perfectionism and high-functioning anxiety frequently look same. Being that it turns us against ourselves anytime we make mistakes is one of its most troublesome traits. The error appears larger than it actually was because of your concern. It therefore feels challenging to go past it. Number 8. You compare yourself to others frequently. Although it's common, people with high-functioning anxiety shouldn't constantly compare themselves to others. Don't hold back, go all out. How well do you compare to your peers bother you excessively? Do you ever feel as though your potential isn't being realized? Anything you manage to achieve? Do you ever feel as though it is enough? If so, 
you may be experiencing high functioning anxiety. Number nine, you always try to please others. Do you exert yourself to ensure the happiness of others, even if it compromises your own health? Do you think that unless you achieve, you won't be good enough? A claim from everyone if you have high functioning anxiety, you might have persuaded yourself that the only way others would ever accept you is if you consistently go above and beyond what everyone else expects of you. Number 10, you need to keep yourself active all the time. We're not discussing producing outstanding renaissance works of art or complex business concepts right now. Just busy, not necessarily productive, is what we mean. You feel agitated and tense if you aren't busy. Thus, while biting your nails, you try to keep yourself busy with anything. Yes, alphabetize your game collection. I'll give you a pass for brushing the fully functional computer fan. You don't mind doing anything as long as it lets you forget about your troubles and thoughts, which is undoubtedly the truth. Number 11, when you consider the future, you become extremely nervous. What does the future mean to you? Do you think there will be a lot of people looking forward to the light of possibility in the future? Then, for other people, it might be reminiscent of Scrooge and that final Christmas spirit that resembled the Grim Reaper. If fear and fear of what lies ahead are what you're experiencing, not hope. This can indicate that your anxiousness is acting out. Being paralyzed by anxiety might prevent you from genuinely living your life to the fullest because you constantly anticipate the worst. Anxiety can make you fear the unknown and things that are beyond your control. Number 12, you consistently consider the worst case. Do you enjoy planning everything out step by step? Do you tell yourself that, exactly? This is the worst case scenario, I guess. And I'll be prepared for it. If I'm ready for it. Anything else, I'm up for it. So, are you still preparing for the worst? It could be a high functioning anxiety disorder. Developing the plans. Finally, you might try to discuss with them your preparations, which could cause people to mistake you for being a pessimist. Where you see preparation and proactive behavior, they perceive a downer. Unfortunately, having to be so prepared frequently prevents you from simply taking in the moment. Number 13, you always work for perfection. A tough creature, high-functioning anxiety is. You become more organized, productive, and capable of troubleshooting issues, thanks to it, on the one hand. However, if your efforts don't live up to your own high expectations, it makes you feel like a failure. And the reason for this is that having high-functioning anxiety causes you to strive for excellence in all aspects of your life, including your appearance, your work, and the way you interact with other people. You also never feel like your efforts are sufficient because perfection is unachievable because there is always room for growth. Number 14, Overplan. You anticipate the worst and become ready for it when your anxiety is working at a high level. Always on the lookout for calamity and working to prevent it, you're constantly on high alert. You're always pondering what might go wrong and how you'll react if it does. When anything positive occurs to you, it feels like an exception rather than the norm because you are constantly expecting the worst. Not only can worrying about it cause stress, but it may also make you feel as though you must always be ready for anything. What happened? Because you're focused on things other than the current moment, you can't enjoy what's going on. Number 15, keep to routines and experiences that you are familiar with. Anxiety that performs at a high level involves more than just feeling uneasy. In your everyday existence, you're constantly looking for predictability and control. To ensure that nothing unforeseen occurs, you'll go above and beyond. The reason for this is that, although making things more difficult than necessary, your brain is trying over time to shield you from the outside world. Because of this, you tend to avoid unfamiliar circumstances and people and stick to patterns and experiences that are comfortable and offer you a sense of control. In summary, high-functioning anxiety is defined by excessive worry, stress, and guilt, and it can be very challenging to unwind and enjoy life, even when things appear to be going well. But this does not imply that you are a nasty person or that you have a mental health issue. It merely implies that specific circumstances may make your brain's functioning challenging. Speaking with a mental health expert can help you discover how to best handle your issues if you suspect that you could be exhibiting signs of high-functioning anxiety. That's all for today's video. Please share this video with your friends if you liked it so that they can see it and learn something new from it. Don't forget to press the notification bell once you hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And don't forget to see the rest of our videos. I appreciate your interest very much. Peace.